Hello everyone, welcome to my messy studio. My name is Mark and I'm an artist and an art professor. And in this short lesson, I'm going to show you a neat fountain pen trick that you can use to add depth to your pen and ink drawings. Let's get started. There are essentially two ways of representing depth when working in line. The first way is through line weight. Since thick lines look closer than thin lines, landscape artists will tend to place the thickest lines in the foreground and then make the lines thinner in the middle ground and thinner yet in the background. Here's an example of different line weights being used by Rembrandt. The second way of suggesting depth is through value, since darker lines look closer than lines that are lighter. This is something that many artists make use of by placing darker lines in the foreground with lighter and lighter lines reserved for areas farther and farther away. This, like the first method of using thick and thin lines, was also frequently employed throughout art history. Here's an example of it by the Dutch Baroque painter Jan Lievens. For line variation, the artist can use pens of different sizes or work with a pen with either a flexible nib or a fude nib. You can also take advantage of reverse writing, the ability of some fountain pens and dip pens to put down a thinner line when the nib is flipped over. But what about line value? One solution, of course, is to use pens filled with different dilutions of ink. One undiluted, one diluted with one part ink, one part water, and one diluted with one part ink and three parts water. But if you're using a fountain pen, there's an easier way, one that doesn't require you to use so many pens. Here's how it works. Fill your pen with undiluted ink, and when you want to put down lines in a lighter value, dip your pen for a few seconds in water, wipe it off with a paper towel, and now your pen will put down a lighter line. The longer you hold the pen in the water, the lighter the line will be, and with some practice, you'll be able to control the value of your lines. And the line will stay the same value for a surprisingly long time, so you won't have to constantly redip to maintain the same value. And if you want to quickly go back to the normal, undiluted value, all you have to do is wipe the nib dry and then shake the pen a little to force new ink into the feed. If you want this technique to be more portable, you can replace the cup of water with a water brush. Simply apply some water to your nib, dry it off a little, and you will have the same result, with the lines being lighter. This is just one way a pen and a water brush are such a powerful combination when sketching in the field. In fact, this is probably the easiest way of emphasizing depth in a landscape drawing, definitely easier than using line thickness, which can be difficult to control. In this drawing, however, I'm doing both. I'm using a Pilot Justice 95, a pen with a moderately flexi nib, which allows me to make thicker lines in the foreground. After completing the foreground elements in undiluted black ink, I now dip my pen in water and start doing the background in a lighter value, which does a very effective job making things look far away. Since this is a pen with a flexible nib, it has a feed with a generous flow, and even here the pen takes quite some time to return back to a fully black line. And the great thing is, is that as I see the lines getting darker, I can work on elements closer to the foreground. And again, if I want the pen to return to fully black sooner, I can dry off the nib with a paper towel and give it a little shake. As you can imagine, this way of working has many applications, and not just in landscape drawing. Let me show you one way I love to use this trick when drawing my favorite subject matter, the human head. But before I do, allow me to briefly tell you about my new online workshop titled Drawing the Head in Pen and Ink, which covers a lot of different aspects of head drawing in this challenging medium. If you like how I teach, this is a chance for you to learn from me directly, to ask questions, and to submit your work for individual critique. Please visit my website for more information. And now on to your regularly scheduled programming. This head drawing was started with a pen filled with Noodler's black ink. I really like this ink for drawing because it has a slight transparency to it, which gives my drawing a softer, less graphic effect than if I was working with a pure black ink. Working with a pen with an extra fine nib filled with this ink allows me to put down fine layers of hatching. However, there are some areas of the head where working with this dark black will be difficult, such as some of the very soft gradual transitions from light to shadow, and the very delicate halftones on the lighter part of her face. This is where using a lighter ink would be very valuable. Here I've already started working with the diluted ink, and as you can see, the lighter lines make getting those soft transitions and delicate halftones much easier. 
If I was working with black alone, I would have to be very careful, but this way I can proceed with total confidence because I know I won't make things too dark, harsh, or patchy. This technique is great for those that are just starting out in pen and ink and haven't quite learned to control their hatching, or just for those artists that really want delicate soft lines in their work. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for more content just like this. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back in my messy studio very soon. Bye-bye.